Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest active geyser, erupted at 11.05 a.m. Monday in Yellowstone National Park. This eruption was the third in 2025 and 81 days since its last eruption, on the 3rd of February. After a very active period, with more than 20 eruptions annually between 2018 and 2021, Steamboat's eruption frequency had been steadily decreasing for the past four years. However, that's not the case. Or, at least, it doesn't appear to be. Steamboat Geyser may be taking longer than usual to subside, or it may be showing visitors and scientists its new normal. There's no way to even predict what normal is for a geyser, said Mike Poland, the scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. Steamboat appears to be experiencing subsidence, but its activity has remained low for the past few years. Steamboat geyser eruptions can last more than an hour and shoot mineral-rich water more than 120 meters into the air high enough to spray mud and water onto vehicles parked in nearby parking lots. Its behavior has always been unknown, but scientists have observed a trend over the past century. Periods of eruption are often followed by decades of dormancy. The geyser is never completely dormant but the period between eruptions just a few days during its active period can stretch to nearly a decade. A similar pattern was observed in the 1,962nd and 1,982nd, when Steamboat often erupted for short periods before subsiding and erupting only once every few years. With the exception of Old Faithful or Lone Star Geyser, which have been consistent for a long time, many of these geysers can change their behavior in ways that are difficult to anticipate, Poland said. Steamboat Geyser erupted 32 times in 2018 and 48 times in 2019, 2019 and 2020. Since then, the frequency of eruptions has decreased annually. 11 inch 2022, 9 in 2023, and 6 in 2024. What makes this steamboat eruption period interesting is that its slowdown has lasted much longer than previous active periods. Eruptions are now less frequent, but the longest gap between eruptions in 2019 and 2025 was only 89 days. This is significant for Poland if Steamboat enters an even longer dormant period, it will certainly take time to subside. I don't think I can say if this is a new normal with fewer eruptions per year or part of a very slow decline. He said, it's different from previous episodes of activity, but we don't have much precedent to draw from. Steamboat Geyser is located on the eastern edge of the Norris Geyser Basin one of the most dynamic hot air basins in Yellowstone due to its high activity and rapid natural changes. All other water bodies in Norris are operating as usual, Poland said. While since Steamboat began erupting in 2018, many have said there have been major changes at Norris. But those changes are unique to Steamboat. They only affect that geyser. Other geysers in the maintenance area have not seen any changes in activity. Poland mentioned Echinus Geyser, located not far from Steamboat, close to the starting point of the hike. Despite its proximity to Steamboat, Echinus Geyser has only erupted six times since 2018, and it has been more than four years since its last eruption on the 17th of December, 2020, when Steamboat erupts, only its reservoir reacts, Poland said. The other features around it don't change at all, so Steamboat is practically isolated. If there are changes at Steamboat, Poland believes the answer lies in the intricate underground piping system that circulates 160 degree hot air through its vents during an eruption. Even small changes in the piping can permanently alter the geyser's behavior. To date, no one can predict when Yellowstone Volcano will erupt. Thousands of visitors continue to arrive daily. Visitors are advised to be careful because an eruption can occur at any time 
As happened in July 2024, visitors were frightened and ran for safety.